Oh my word. Motherboard videos. It's time to check out the Asus P8Z68-V Pro motherboard. It's the uh, new flagship motherboard from Asus and uh, it's nice. Let's talk about what we have going on here with the Z68. First, uh, Intel Smart Response technology. Very, very cool technology. It allows you to use an SSD drive as almost like a caching system for a regular hard drive and it really, really boosts your speed. So take your SSD drive, install it. Take your regular hard drive, install it. And uh, the way it basically works is, um, you know, the Intel technology says, oh, well, it looks like you open this program and this program and this program and you play this game and you do this all the time. So we're going to use the SSD to cache it and uh, things open up almost four times as fast. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it's even more than that. It's ridiculously nice. I like it. Uh, the other new technology that we're seeing in the Z68 boards is the Lucid Virtu GPU virtualization. The Lucid Virtu GPU virtualization is pretty interesting. You actually plug your monitor up here to the motherboard. Now, whenever you're doing something mundane in Windows that doesn't require a lot of processing power, it renders all the uh, graphics on the CPU. As soon as you switch to a video game, you don't need to re-plug it in, you don't need to unplug anything. Um, the discrete graphics card kicks in, and your signal still goes through either your VGA, your uh, DVI, or your HDMI cable to your monitor or TV of choice. Now, the benefit of that is that you are going to save power. I will note, and a lot of people are not going to like that I note this, but I, I want to note that there is a slight loss in uh, frames per second in games. I saw online that uh, someone did a benchmark and actually used Street Fighter 4, which I did not know that was a big benchmarking game, but at any rate, with the uh, GPU virtualization turned off, they got 186 frames a second. With it turned on, 169. So if you're uh, power hungry and you have a discrete video card, you don't have to use the virtualization, just use the discrete video card. Nobody's going to be angry at you. You energy-hungry power waster. Let's talk about the rest of the features of the board and take a little bit of a tour, shall we? All right, these Asus motherboards are very efficient, and there's some new technology going on here. Digi plus VRM, that's digital voltage regulation. And what that basically does, you can see under here, there's some uh, low-profile chokes in there. Those are new. That's kind of nice. Uh, what this basically does is it maintains consistent voltage, and it does it um, digitally. So it's extremely accurate. It's going to ensure lower temperatures, and it's going to ensure a nice, consistent stream going to your CPU. That's very nice. Down here, we've got uh, four DDR3 slots. Moving on over here, we have our expansion area. We have um, three of the uh, PCI Express uh, 16 slots. Now, I want to note that when you're running uh, one graphics card, it's 16. Two is eight and eight. I probably wouldn't want to put three in this machine because the last card typically runs at 1x because it shares bandwidth with the, uh, with the two 1x PCI Express ports. Also, we have two PCI slots. Over here, I want to note that we do have power and reset on board. Thank you, Asus, so much for that. Let's take a look at the uh, SATA ports now. As you can see here, we have a slew. I believe that's the technical term for this. Whenever you have eight, that is a slew. Or maybe it's a slaw or a gaggle or a Google. I don't know but you got good, a good amount of SATA ports. Full HD audio on board. We have gigabit ethernet here. USB 3, yay, there's two there and you can also add two more. We have uh, VGA DVI, there's a uh, HDMI here, also optical audio, and see that? That's nice to have on board, that's Bluetooth. And we have a slew of uh, USB 2.0 ports, sports 10 in total, and uh, then down here on the bottom we have eSATA. The last thing I want to talk about is the BIOS because they added something to this BIOS that's a little bit different from their P67 model. This motherboard is almost the same motherboard as the P67 except with a few uh, upgrades, which is really nice. Uh, it features the, uh, the new UEIF BIOS. And uh, the nice thing about this one is they've added a screenshot. You can, you can actually do a screen capture. You like that? Yeah. You know what this is going to do for the forums all over the internet? The ability to press F12 and save screenshot of your BIOS. I'm not going to get into um, all the BIOS, but it's very easy to use, very easy to navigate. Uh, this is one hell of an overclocking motherboard. And um, if you have a FAT32 uh, formatted flash drive, put that in. You can save a screenshot into that. Or you can have, you, you basically have to have a FAT32 formatted hard drive to save uh, the bitmap. But just press F12, designate where to save it. And that is nice. That is really nice. There's going to be a ton of people posting their uh, 
their overclocks, their frequencies, their settings from their BIOS online. So, ASUS, you guys are always thinking. And that's what I like about you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed your time with the ASUS P8Z68-V Pro motherboard. I know I have. I'd like to uh, play around with this and try some overclocking. Maybe I will. Maybe you should too. I'll see you next time. For more information, go to tigerdirect.com and type ASUS P8 space Z68-V into the search box.